Born in 1869 to a Native American mother and a white father, William Edwin Knickerbocker, or Bill Nick as he dubbed himself, heeded the cry, Go West, young man. He traded his native Pennsylvania for the promised land of California, and there he climbed a mile-high mountain to find his home. Bill Nick mined for gold, logged, worked as Big Bear's first dam keeper, Mary Rose Pollard, claimed a prime piece of property, and built his budding family a three-story log cabin out of giant trees felled by his own hand. The exterior walls of the Big Bear Lake Mansion are giant trees halved and installed vertically, up and down, instead of the more traditional style of stacked logs. Stanley Miller, who with partner Thomas Buchanan run the manor as a bed and breakfast said, it's the largest vertical log house in the United States. The two welcome guests alongside Bijou and Faux Pas, chocolate standard poodles, and a small but attentive staff. Miller said the cabin measures 4,500 square feet, and he makes claim the mansion is now four stories because there is a basement level renovated as office space. Miller's other job has been as Neil Diamond's concert tour sound engineer for more than four decades. Chef Thomas, German born and raised, honed his skills for nine years at Patina Restaurant in Los Angeles. When the partners first visited the mansion, it peered out at them from beneath a fresh mantle of fluffy February snow. In the past 12 years, they redesigned, refurbished, and filled the manor with carefully selected art and furniture pieces. We've worked very hard not to destroy the historical ambiance of the place, Miller said. The only original piece of furniture we have is a chest of drawers in the dining area that Knickerbocker himself constructed. Now, the furnitures are more European and antique. Miller terms it eloquently rustic. The original home had five bedrooms and two bathrooms. The partners transformed that space into four spacious guest rooms, each with private bath and breathtaking views while preserving the stunning 24-inch wide cedar paneling. All the in-house rooms are charming with queen sledder four posters and views of either the San Bernardino National Forest or Big Bear Lake. The attic is now the top of the mountain, a 700 square foot luxury suite offering magnificent views from its private deck. Also on the 2.5 acre property is the carriage house with four cozy romantic rooms, each with fireplace. There is also the carriage house suite with an expansive great room and marble bath. Forest View 4 is tucked away on the lower level of the owner's private home. Miller said the inn sleeps about 26. Guests enter the main lodge to a living area with original rock fireplace, a stairway constructed of split logs and a dining area. Breakfast is included and Bistro at the Mansion, the in-house restaurant led by Chef Thomas, is open Friday and Saturday evenings. The Bistro features gourmet dining and one of the most discriminating yet extensive wine lists on the mountain. During our stay, we feasted on morning delicacies the likes of poached pears, baked eggs with bacon, and French toast with warm fruit and cheese covering. No need to stay at the inn to enjoy this fine dining experience. It's open to the public. To make the inn more practical for groups and conferences, the partners added a multimedia conference center that seats 50. Miller said the space lets people look out the windows and enjoy the fact they're in Big Bear. Service in the dining room was excellent and the food also excellent. Our stay was very pleasant and relaxing. The partners are excellent hosts. The mansion is only a minute drive or three block jaunt from the colorful Big Bear Village, which features shops, restaurants, and theaters. As Big Bear is Southern California's only true four season resort, it's only a few blocks farther to boat rentals and ski resorts. Hikers can enter the national forest right from the property. Enjoy a stay in Big Bear. Enjoy comfort at the Knickerbocker Mansion Country Inn.